and let's go hit this kid. Does Tesla's full self-driving beta really run over kids, as Green Hill Software CEO Dan O'Dowd claims? Or is Dan just lying about a life-saving technology to benefit himself financially? We set out today to find out with real tests, including on live humans. Now, you may remember Dan O'Dowd as the guy who took out a full-page New York Times ad against Tesla full self-driving, who ran for Senate in California on a single-issue campaign of banning Tesla FSD. Well, even though he lost the election, Dan hasn't given up. You may have recently seen his latest commercial on the air. Elon Musk says Tesla's full self-driving software is amazing. It will blow your mind. But does it work? This happens over and over again. 100,000 Tesla drivers are already using full self-driving on public roads. I'm Dan Oded. I'm a safety engineer. And Tesla full self-driving is the worst commercial software I've ever seen. Tell Congress to shut it down. Paid for by the Dawn Project. All right, so we're about to do our first test. We got a dummy in the street. Let's see if FSD beta hits it or what it does. Ready? I'm going to turn it on now. All right, it's refusing to move. It won't go. All right, attempt number two. We move the dummy a little further down the road. Let's see what happens. All right, the car is proceeding super cautiously and it stops, it won't go. What does it show? Can you make it full screen? Yeah, so you can see there's a kid right here rendered on the screen and it refuses to go any further because there's a pedestrian detected. Ready? All right, test number three. Now we've got the kid moved a little bit to the right. We're gonna see if it tries to go around the mannequin now, now that it's got a little more room. All right, and the car went around the mannequin perfectly. All right, so for our next test, we've got a guy, Alvi, standing in the middle of the road. We're gonna see how the car responds with a real person standing in the middle of the road. All right, the car has stopped and it refuses to move any further. Alvi, could you move out of the way, please? Onto the sidewalk. Easy. All right, so it said press accelerator to resume cruise control, and I did, and then it resumed. All right, now, so we're gonna test someone walking in front of the car. All right, ready, go. As you can see, Alvi was detected. The car stopped just fine. All right, so far so good. But what about with real life kids? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm Tad. I'm a portfolio manager for VCar, the autonomous driving ETF. And uh, yeah, I, I trust the system enough that uh, I I've tried FSD beta before that I, I would trust my um, my kids' lives with them. Um, so I I'm very confident that it's going to detect. Uh, my kids and then I'm also in, in control of the wheel so I can break at any time. There you go. Okay. It sees you. It sees you. So what's happening? The car refuses to move. Okay. It's, it's moving a little bit. It's moving a little bit. And it stopped. All right. Now get out of the way. <laughs> Should I press the accelerator? Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now press the brake and turn around. Wow. Hey, hey, can you cross the street all the way? There you go. Okay, not, now it's blue. It's now yeah. it's blue. All right, so the car slows down. Yeah, it can see him. It can see him for sure. It waits for him to cross. Yeah. And then it continues. 
So it sees kids just fine. Yeah, <laughs> and he's he's really short. <laughs> yeah, he's he's only five years old. So it's a little nerve wracking in the beginning, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that it was going to detect and stop. And I, I think it's very important for this to be out there. I think it'll save a lot of kids' lives. So uh, it's actually very important that safety technology like this yeah. is I mean, available. Yeah, th there's no reason for this to be uh, banned or, or whatever. And I, I think people are just um, doing that just for you know their own financial. Yeah, exactly. Gain, but it's not actually their for own the financial interest. Yeah, yeah. It's not for the safety of, of others. And yeah. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna try and, try and run this baby over at a higher speed. You can you see that? It actually oh, is it seeing the it. fake kid from all the, the way kid. over there. That's how good this vision system is, okay? Now, let's set it to 40 miles an hour, just like Dan O'Dowd's test. And let's go hit this kid. All right, so it's reading as a kid. What does it do? It slows and it goes around. Huh, weird. Not like the commercials you see on TV, huh? It's almost like the guy was lying because he was the CEO of a competing software company. Well, now you guys know the truth. <laughs> so why did the car from Dan O'Dowd's commercial perform differently than our tests? Well, it actually didn't. If you look at this behind the scenes raw footage from the commercial that Dan O'Dowd released, you can see that the car actually did the exact same thing, but the test was set up to make it hit the dummy. If you look really closely at the video, you can see that the dummy was actually detected as a pedestrian and rendered in the visualization, as you can see by the black mark. So why didn't the car stop if it detected the dummy? Well, it actually did try to. They just didn't show you that in the commercial. You can see it's slowing from 36 to 35, from 35 down to 19, all the way down to 16 before it actually hits the dummy. Now, while that's not as good as stopping fully, slowing down does greatly reduce the severity of any crash, and it did respond. So clearly, Dan's claim that the software can't see kids is an outright lie. Even in footage from Dan's own commercial, you can see the software recognize the dummy as a kid and take appropriate steps to respond as soon as it recognized it. In addition, you can see that the software threw up the red hands of doom. This is a way for the software to ask the user to take over control of the car immediately. If there's a system error or autopilot detects a dangerous situation, it'll throw up this warning and ask the user to take control of the car immediately to avoid a potential collision. Now, the driver in this case failed to do that. That's not a realistic representation of the real world. In the real world, when you get this warning, which comes with a bunch of loud beeps, you're going to take control of the car and make sure it doesn't hit a kid that's standing right in front of your car. The driver in this case didn't do that. They ignored the warnings. So why didn't the car try and go around the dummy like it did in our tests? Well, if you take a close look at this behind the scenes footage again, you can see that the car actually did try and go around the dummy. The only reason it wasn't able to successfully go around it is that Dan set up cones all alongside the car so that it would be unable to change lanes. The software is programmed to really look at cones and not drive through them because you don't want a situation where your car drives off the road or drives into a construction pit, right? So it was a setup. In a normal situation, it would have gone around the dummy and I'm sure that's what it was doing originally, which is why they had to set up the cones to force it to drive straight into the dummy. Then there's the warning message on screen. This kind of message pops up when you're holding down the accelerator and holding down the accelerator will override FSD's decision to stop. There's been a lot of speculation that the accelerator was held down accidentally or on purpose to make this test go the way they wanted. You can also see that the driver manually sped up before turning on FSD so it wouldn't have time to stop. The truth is that Dan's company Greenhill Software is a competitor to Tesla. And that's why they're spending millions of dollars to smear FSD, not because of safety. This advanced pedestrian detection runs all the time in your car, even when you're driving manually, and it can help warn you or prevent a collision. Dan is okay with people dying, even kids dying, if it helps him make a few bucks. And that I think is truly sick. Go fuck yourself, Dan O'Dowd, and stop trying to kill kids. Call Congress and tell them Dan's a clown.